and a new scientific blueprint for tackling climate change, pollution and the accelerating a loss of plant and animal species shows how to end the world's suicidal war on nature. According to the UN Environment Programme report, the world can tackle the climate, biodiversity and pollution crisis together. But if the UN chiefs, but the UN chief said that these interlinked crises require urgent action from uh, the whole of society. UN Chief Antonio Guterres called the above crisis as three interlinked environmental hazards, adding that for too long we have been waging a senseless and suicidal war on nature and it is time to act accordingly to save the planet. I want to be clear. Without nature's help, we will not thrive or even survive. And for too long, we have been waging a senseless and suicidal war on nature. The result is three interlinked environmental crises, climate disruption, biodiversity loss, and pollution that threaten our viability as a species. And they are caused by unsustainable production and consumption. Human well-being lies in protecting the health of the planet, and it's time to reevaluate and reset our relationship with nature. Now, the UN report builds on the findings of previous global studies to help governments, businesses and other institutions adopt a more joined up approach to tackling interlocking environmental crises. Some of the recommendations that have been suggested in the report are as follows. Uh, Five trillion dollar in annual subsidies to sectors such as fossil fuels and industrial agriculture to accelerate a shift to a low carbon future. It also recommends governments to look beyond economic growth as an indicator of performance and take account of the value of uh, preserving the nature. We now turn our focus to the state of Texas, where thousands still remain without power and water as icy storm hit the state. While Texas Governor Greg Abbott said on Thursday that all power generating plants in the state were back online, the reality on ground was very different. Some 300 households, 300,000 households, pardon me, still do not have power, down from 2.7 million on Wednesday, and more than 13 million Texans are seeing interruptions in their water services. We have already begun the process to make sure that events like this never again happen in Texas. And that starts with reforming the agency in charge of, a, of electric reliability in Texas, which is ERCOT. What happened this week to our fellow Texans is absolutely unacceptable and can never be replicated again. And it's especially unacceptable when you realize what ERCOT told the state of Texas. They said five days before the winter storm hit, the ERCOT CEO assured ERCOT, and I quote, we're ready for the cold temperatures coming our way. Now, the Texas governor also raised some eyebrows when he went on American TV and blamed renewable energy like wind and solar for the power failure. And it is not just the governor who has come under fire for his handling of the situation. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz faced heavy backlash after he was spotted flying out to Cancun with his family in the middle of the crisis. The Republican then cut his trip short after his travels were reported and said he was returning to get to the bottom of what had happened. It, it, it was obviously a mistake, and in hindsight, I, I wouldn't have done it. Um, I was trying to be a dad, and, and all of us have made decisions. When you've got two girls who've been cold for two, two days and haven't had heat or power, and they're saying, hey, look, we don't have school. Why don't we go? Let's get out of here. I, I think there are a lot of parents that'd be like, all right, let me, if I can do this, great. That's what I wanted to do. Um, as I said, really, from... The moment I sat on the plane, I, I, I began really second-guessing that decision and saying, look, I, I know why we're doing this, but, but I've also got responsibilities. And, and, and it had been my intention uh, to be able to, to work remotely, to be on the phone, to be on Internet, to be on Zoom, to be engaged. But I needed to be here, and, and, and that's why I came back. 
But in Texas, the lack of power has cut off water supplies for millions, further strained hospitals' ability to treat patients amid a pandemic, and isolated vulnerable communities with frozen roads still impossible in many parts of the state. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.